I don't feel proud about being an American. How Trump is just inept in being subtle in his privilege, Ooh. the way that other rich people are. You know, intimacy as possibly a form of protest. Um. I think Americans are absolutely, completely the most ignorant nation in the world. Trump's reaction to this pandemic couldn't have been more shameful to watch. <laughs> My recommendation for finding love in a pandemic in Chicago, maybe you should just watch TV. <laughs> it's the name of the president on a business building and you are constantly reminded that you live in a capitalist society with no, no escape. But there shouldn't be rules of inclusion. People should just be included. So yeah, if how to find love in America is to is to be love. Getting together with Sam was definitely the best thing that happened to me during the pandemic because the feelings of isolation were really real and I was like having a difficult time psychologically, but like having someone to be with uh, and to find intimacy with um, was really nice. It's weird to say I'm thankful that I'm American because I hate uh, the government that says that it represents the country, but... The, the Trump Tower represents hatred to me in capitalism. Um, Love grows in a lot of smaller spaces now. He doesn't have the self-control to be like, I'm not gonna put my fucking last name on a tower in the middle of the city because it makes me look like an asshole. He literally doesn't have that ability. I think Trump's reaction to the pandemic was non-existent. Well, we were just friends before the <laughs> pandemic, so... Uh, having a Trump Tower in in our city creates a lot of polarization. I don't really know what it, what, what it represents other than the fact that, yeah, Trump has a lot of money. Like, yeah, like, well, power. Um, um, the Trump Tower in our city represents fascism. Yeah, I would, I would honestly rather be a traitor to America than identify with its values. And at this point, people think COVID is over. And that's what's the most upsetting to me, because it's kind of like, obviously it's not. Well, I mean, as a culture, we're awfully obsessed <laughs> with romance. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. Intimacy is amazing. But like, also, maybe if you want to find like intimacy, self-intimacy is pretty amazing, actually. Like, I'm no longer phased by what happens in America. <laughs> The only people who are living the end of the quote-unquote American dream are the people who were born into it. You are not as free as you seem. I laughed and cried every day to Trump's response to the COVID pandemic. And I was very proud to be an American when I was a child.